Hey guys, good morning, what's up? Welcome to another video. I uh, thought I'm gonna give you an update of what's going on right now. We just found a new permanent place that we're gonna stay. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you a few things that I've noticed ever since coming here, like a new first impression of UK versus Malaysia. Okay, so let's get to it. So first thing I notice is that the transportation here can be inefficient compared to Malaysia and also it's more expensive, way more expensive, right? Like right now I'm paying zone 1 to 3, I paid about 150 pounds a month and normally the trains are delayed. If you think KTM commuter sucks, this is another level. What? I'm usually not a big fan of Najib's propaganda but when it comes to what he said about our transportation system is better than London, I have to agree. We are better than London. It's cheaper in Malaysia and it's a lot more efficient. And even the trains here, like if you notice the tube is still manually controlled by a conductor. Whereas in Malaysia, everything is automated. Only the monorail and the KTM has an actual conductor. The rest of it is all SCADA systems. If you know what that is, you can comment down below. But one point that I have to give to the British transportation is the fact that the tube and the bus are usually more efficient. And the bus especially, it's oh man. It's not like the buses in Malaysia. In Malaysia, the trains are efficient, I get that. But when it comes to buses, uh, here you can rely on this thing called City Mapper and it tells you exactly when the bus is gonna arrive on that station and you can rely on that to connect like bus to train etc right down to your destination amazing stuff something that may surprise you is the fact that the groceries here it can be cheaper than malaysia like for example milk is only one pound sometimes you can get one pound for two liters in malaysia that's at least three pounds for two liters three pounds or four pounds sometimes <laughs> Because milk, cheese and stuff is very expensive in Malaysia. So everything that is British made or British produced is a lot cheaper. Even strawberries, all these kind of uh, British fruits and vegetables, a lot cheaper here. Broccoli is only like 50 pence. It's crazy. Like in Malaysia, easily one pound for one broccoli. For us to rent this place, it was a lot of hassle, a lot of processes and documentation etc that we need to submit because here they have very strict guidelines in terms of referencing, like to make sure that you are actually a good tenant. So don't expect to come here and just rent a place and give a deposit like what you did in Malaysia because in Malaysia it's so, so easy, all you need to do is just give two months deposit and that's it. Here, even with the deposit, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get the house because it all depends on the references, like the previous landlord, for example. We actually had to submit even our bank statements from Malaysia. It is a lot of work. Oh, and they needed to know three previous landlord references. Like even when you apply for a bank account, it's crazy, right? And things close relatively earlier here, like most things are closed by 7pm. In Malaysia, you still see like shops opening until like 11, sometimes 24 hours a day. Here, it's less of that. Uh, most shops are closed by 7 on weekdays and sometimes even weekends. But central London, sometimes you still see shops opening until 10. But that's quite rare. It's only in certain like hotspots. And last point. One last thing here is the reason why I really love London is the fact that all the towns in each part of London is very unique. Whereas in KL, every town looks the same. For example, Bangsa and PJ, almost the same. It's just different shops, but the structure is the same. The culture is the same. But here, every single town has its own uh, like unique taste, unique flavor, unique take on the culture. Where I'm staying right now, Tuting Broadway, it's a very immigrant culture, very diverse, very colorful. Whereas maybe somewhere like High Kensington will be very posh, very, you know, British. So you get that contrast, so you won't get bored over here. And also there's a lot of like events happening everywhere around London and you will always always find a theatre show that is suited to you because every single theatre is like scattered around. You will not get bored over here. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you like the content. If you think what I said is wrong, just comment down below. Don't hate me. Don't throw all the hate around. For us video makers, we don't get everything right all the time. Don't judge me, I'm only human! <laughs> yeah, hope you like the content. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the content, of course, give it a thumbs down. As always, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget me.